smack on this recording really quick. So we're going. We're flowing. Jeez, we're flowing. We're going. Hey, right. morning. Yeah. What time is it over there, dude? Oh, it's evening. It's, it's half past six in the evening. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are like, is it morning there? It's, uh, well, it's the crack of noon, as I like to call it. Yeah, dude, I've, I always get up. I'm, my sleeping pattern has been, it started off really good at the beginning of... Um, the whole shutdown yeah, stuff. The whole time, yeah, because like in rehab, I was like the days were quite long. We were going from like seven fifteen in the morning till like ten thirty mm-hmm. at night. So it was like yeah, I was on, that's a long day, dude. Yeah, and no, I was really it was long, but it was it was busy though. So it was like it was all right. You were doing stuff all the time, um, and it I got so regimented with that. Um, but then when you go from it's like going from one extreme to, to another. I went from having, knowing exactly what I'm doing every single day for 10 months to having absolutely nothing in the book. Just um, like make your own, having to make your own schedule again and everything? Or? Yeah, which again, I was quite good at doing initially, but like that, that has just gone to, you know. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, yeah, absolutely. It's like, uh, I'm, I'm no, just, it's, it's hard to even get myself to get out of bed in the morning sometimes. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's rainy. Not, if it's all rainy and gloomy outside, I'm like, all right, I'm not getting, I'm not doing anything today. No, nope. mate. If you if you lived in England, you'd never leave the bed then. Cause <laughs> yeah, just come over. Uh, that's bed. a good life for me though. That's a good life for me. Just wrestle <laughs> around with Olive and Nikki and just have fun, you know. Yeah, that would be fun. That would be fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh man, whoa! Yeah. It sucks that our last. Uh, yeah, thing was an epic failure, you know. Dude, that's a big fat fail by the pool side. Does well. blame it on old Chamby Wamby though. That was my bad. Yeah, yeah. That's it was good. just good to talk to you, anyways. But yeah, and you know, now we have to retell all these link stories all over again. I know, right? As if I don't, as if I love re- just reimagining these things anyway. <laughs> like, right. I, I've put myself back in that bloody position. I know. You ready? In three, uh, two, one. You are young again. You better tell me <laughs> your story again. Um, it was the one uh, with your dad. It was I bet yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> oh god, it's just so cringe when I just think about it. <laughs> so, um, I'm in Ecuador and I'm about 17. Um, and at this point, it's just no, no, no. Yeah, me and my mum and my dad. Yeah, I, I moved there on my moved own. There already. Yeah, I moved there. Mum's there. Um. And, you know, grew up in quite a strict environment, <laughs> um, to say the least. Yeah, I grew up in a very sort of staunch Christian uh, upbringing. And no beef for that. I'm very grateful for that. But then also that comes say, with... I remember. Yeah, exactly. You know that. Cut of the same cloth, baby. The EFC yeah. was like our first venue, bro. Like for me, that was like yeah. my rocking venue. Not for hey, you. Ollie. Hey. Yeah. Say hi to Uncle Shea. Here, you can, you can pop in really quick and say hi. Say, what's up, dude? What up? What's that you got in your hand? What is it? It's like a some sort of unicorn-looking doll, but they're like... That's like a Pegasus, though. Oh, it's got wings on it as well. It's like a Pegasus. Okay. Okay. I like that. What? Let me see this. Look, it's got like a, a what? A, like a poop emoji unicorn thing. That's hilarious. We can that? make the play doh up. What? It's pretty cool. So, yeah, what were you saying yeah, about I the play doh? The play doh, like, it's really soft when you like put it along yeah. a park and <laughs> take it like a park and make it uh-huh. really soft. And you can make it up and do like a good color. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I also got a lion one too. Oh wow! It's got all sorts. Also has the horn with too. It's got horns and wings. Wow! Something right here. So it's the king lion. Cool. <laughs> I think that it's a royal lion. A royal? A royal? Well, yeah. Lions are kings. That's the way. It's true. All right, baby, I'm going to keep talking to you, okay? All right, bye. <laughs> right, back to my filthy story. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm a kid. I'm there living with mom and dad. Um, 
and for some reason i can't remember exactly why but they go away for the day and i've got a girlfriend at the time who should remain nameless um a she who must not be named who yeah exactly um <laughs> And I'm just like, I'm just like, well, this is an excuse to get the fake on. Um, so, you know, call around, just like, let's get involved. I think we went in as well. It wasn't just like, it wasn't like some standard day's work. It was like, I got whipped cream out. And it was like, it was all sorts. We probably went fully. fully, fully. <laughs> like, oh, typical, dude. typical, like 17 year old who thinks that sort of stuff is, actually really practical and just like it's like yeah like when you're having sex you're like it's really really cool to do this um but actually, actually turns remember, out that... if i remember correctly this girl said her nickname was whipped cream at some point while we were in high school <laughs> dude i think i wonder who gave her that name oh god yeah. um all right, so um, so yeah, so right <laughs> over. Crazy. It's great. We do, we do, we do what we do, um, and in my room, I had like I had a little little bathroom, and you know had a little you know, waste paper bin in it. So I used you know I put the the old the old Johnnies in there, <laughs> and the I'm like, Johnny's. and I'm like I'm gonna be slick. Let's go out. Let's go to the cinema. I think we went to the cinema or something like that. Mum mm-hmm. and dad aren't here. Um, I think I got in trouble also just because I don't think I told them I was going to the cinema. Um, right. Normally, normally I have to like ask for that sort of thing, but they were away. Um, excuse me. Um, so we go out. I want to come back and go to my room. It's just like my bin's been changed. So I can't find the. <laughs> so my heart's it, my heart's already started a bit doing a bit of this, but it's like not. Because um, you remember where you put it, where you left it, or whatever. Whenever you want. I knew I I sort of thought it was in there, but then I was just like, yeah, you because know, I, I was just nervous. I was like, you don't know. That's like the worst when you don't actually know, but you think, but you're not sure. Exactly. So it was just a bit like, oh, but but so I sort of left it. I didn't. Obviously, I didn't go. Um, did you find any um? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like imagine. So I just like. I just sort of left it for a second, then I get a call from, well, not a call, but my, my dad's just like, you know, share your mum and dad, your mum and I want to talk to you if you come to like, the living room, which is always horrible because it's like, if it's something that's not like super serious, they'll just tell you whatever it is there and then. Right. Yeah, but it's like, no, already you're, you're like, oh no, I'm in trouble. Yeah. If we're having like a meeting, like it's the full <laughs> it's like, oh shoot. So I immediately kind of think, I'm still not, I still don't clock i'm still not completely savvy as to what's going down yeah um because also just me like an idiot i'm just like i think they're probably going to talk to me about you know going out without asking them or something i'm right. like i'm yeah. sick i got away with this like <laughs> whipped cream <laughs> and so I, um so i so we sit down and first of all that's like have you got anything you want to say to us i'm like Sorry, oh, I don't know. <laughs> like, I love you, Dad. It's like you guys all the best. Um, <laughs> but they're like, so Dad's like, okay, you know, Jane, who's my mother, sweet, sweet mum. He's he's like, oh, go get the bag. I'm just like, oh, what? Then I see like the little the waste paper bin bag, like with a not you know not in it, just like, and they bring it out like, <laughs> I don't know. Duh, 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 oh, duh, 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 duh. And just like they're like they're like. <laughs> So what's this about? And just like, because I was so, I was, I was just, my mind was thinking, it's funny how like when you're under pressure, how quickly you come up with solutions. <laughs> it's like right. nothing, necessity is the mother of all inventions. So it's just like, I was just thinking, well, I'm not getting into this conversation with mum and dad. I can't tell them I had the girl over and was having sex. And you I know, they're going to find out you did three things wrong instead of just one thing wrong. Yeah, and it's just, and there's just so many layers to that conversation. It's just like, yeah. That's a whole, <laughs> right, Olive? <laughs> <laughs> like, they're just like, it's a, it's a whole other thing. So then I was just like, um, <laughs> what's she doing? Um, <laughs> um, so just in that, that sort of split second, I'm just sort of so sweating. 
So then he, so what I said, so what, uh, what I said was with sort of, sort of what kind of, what, what was the way of saying it? I don't know. I was just bricking it. I was just shooting myself. I was just like, instead of what, what seemed like an easier thing, pill for them to swallow was me to say that. Sorry guys, I masturbated. Um, <laughs> just so cringe. Like it was. So you, so you told them that you masturbated with the condoms. It, with the condoms. Yeah. So like what we called in England, a posh wank. Um, <laughs> Posh wank. A posh wank, yeah. It's just like, ooh, I feel like treating myself tonight. I'm going to do it into a journey. And <laughs> oh, it's like... Well, that flew, like, that actually, that went. And it, and it, yeah, exactly. It sailed. But that, but then that also came with its own thing. I think they put me on, a, like, a course or something, like a week's masturbation, you know? Like, because they're already, they already, like, they, they caught me sort of, like, watching porn, like, or they'd, like, that that had put all sorts of security on the on computers and stuff. And I'd always managed to hack them and stuff. Yeah. So it was just like, they thought I was just like this fiend anyways. This sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, I remember thinking I was a genius whenever I was a kid. I was probably 13 and I figured out how to delete the history off my computer. Yeah, dude. Just and be like, like, like Bond. Anything. It's like <laughs> the, the dark web or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. But I remember my mom finding, I remember my mom and dad finding porn, uh, they found, they found like a plethora of things. I think I was at youth group one day and I came mm -hmm. home and it's like, I remember my stuff being kind of spread out on my bed comforter. Like when I walked in my room, I saw these pictures that I'd printed out on computer paper, printed out oh. like pictures of Anna Nicole Smith naked. Oh. Like, and, and I bet it wasn't even great quality either. No, they were freaking, <laughs> like eight bit photos. Yeah, exactly, VGA like, graphic. Freaking Mario looking for him. and uh <laughs> right like square boobs for real but uh there there I, it was like i had some swisher sweet cigars i had oh. a pack of cigarettes that i had gotten from my friend's grandpa's house like while we were oh, right and like so i had all this stuff i had a i also had like a roll of money like a wad of money that it was probably like three to four hundred dollars or something and like you, that. how old were you i was like 13 probably something like that i was really young i might have been younger than that but i think that's I was like that age and it they were like trying to get to the bottom of what how did you I, get this money yeah if i saw that and with the with the cigarettes and stuff i'd be like are you happy? Yeah. <laughs> i know right i was like i know what this looks like yeah but uh i was like and i was coming home from like youth group you know what i mean i was like oh, oh god but i was like notoriously grounded basically my whole <laughs> life since i was a kid until i moved to ecuador really i was just like always in trouble always. really yeah. when did you move to ecuador again oh uh, let's see 2000 let's see i was class of 06 2004 i think when did you move there? 2005. 2005? Okay. Yeah, maybe, Jan January. Maybe it was uh, 2004. Why did I feel like you've been there for like a thousand years? Just be I, dude, because when I showed up there, I was like the new guy. Uh, I was yeah. like the only dude, one of the only dudes from like Texas. Right. And so I just was, uh, and I knew Paige, like I became friends with Paige somehow i became mean, friends with Paige in school and i don't know man i was just the hot stuff there i guess <laughs> and then this kid comes in and ruins the whole show <laughs> you're right then you had to show up it's like hi i'm from england yeah um dude I it was so mad yet yeah, being I like i didn't understand a word you said when i first met you like i i, I couldn't understand a single word you always like, yeah he's saying i mean dude that was such, it's such a weird that was such a weird culture clash like you're yeah you know, from from Texas. I'm from England in a Spanish speaking country. Hey, Ali. We were in Ecuador out of in, out all places. Yeah, and we both went to different schools too, so we had different experiences that way. Hey, you. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. But uh, oh man, yeah. So I remember. I don't. I don't think my parents like put me on a some sort of regimen or something like class program or anything like that no they didn't do that but i remember being severely they was, it was like they were always watching me you know what i mean like i had no pride yeah. for a long time i also but it's just like i think because i don't know because my parents had all their their attention on me because i was the only one 
I was the only sibling yep. left in the house. Like obviously, I've got, I've got loads of siblings. I've got three brothers and two sisters, but I'm the youngest. So they'd all flown the coop by then. So it was like everything had to be on me. Like potentially my, um, my, my stuff may have flown under the radar a little bit more or something. Like if, it, if there was more other people to spread it out on, but it's just like, right. so yeah. what are you up to? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they want to see everything you're doing. Yeah, dude, that's crazy because I would think from my experience, what it seems like the culture is over, like in America, is like the younger kids get, like the younger the kid, the mm-hmm. more lenient, the more lenient and lenient and lenient the parents become as they get older. So where the the youngest gets to get away with everything, and the older ones are are like almost bitter about it, you know. Thing is, I I still got away with the most. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. no joke. Yeah, legit. I I was I was actually like my brothers and sisters, like you got it good. Um, <laughs> even though but even the but that's that said they didn't do as much sort of madness than i did i mean they i'm sure they got up to their own tricks but um yeah. unfortunately i'm leading the leading the the way in that um is that a bullet mic you got there yeah dude the yeah, shirt cool yeah man that's why have you ever seen these guys this little mic oh no that's cool that Dude, cool. it's like it is it sounds like freaking damon bro it's like a yeah he does like yeah kind of megaphone e sound yeah. you know he like, uses an actual yeah he uses a uh yeah like a walkie-talkie mic yeah like an actual yeah like yeah. Uh, a megaphone thing yeah i've that, seen the, the coolest guitar is that um that jack white gust um custom gretch I think it's a Gretsch with uh, with the bullet with the with the bullet. Yeah, dude, it's so awesome. That's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Dude, well, you'll have to come by and uh, have a little jammy jam with me sometime. <laughs> yeah, definitely have to show. Oh, that. dude, yeah, check this out. I got it. Figure it hangs around your neck. You know. Yeah, yeah, cool. All is like th- best with it. I always thought those looked like some sort of like bear trap or something. It does look like a, yeah, yeah. like some sort of trap, like a bear trap or something. Or gnarly S&M gear, do you know what I mean? <laughs> right, just like put that thing in your mouth. Like, this like, is, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is a, a gaper. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it opens you up so I can enter. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, full gape. Full gape. Yeah. Do you want half gape or full gape tonight? Yeah. We're all out of full. <laughs> no i do remember uh, speaking of like getting in trouble like always being in trouble i remember because we talked about this last conversation too we mm-hmm. talked about uh so about our dads catching us getting in oh like, about, yeah dude. i was talking about how i was cut how i cussed how i woke up yeah like, woke me up and was like get up stupid or what you <laughs> wake up dunny or something <laughs> like that and i was i just woke up in the worst mood and was like <laughs> like yeah. that was all this hatred coming out of me and i get out of bed and uncle jeremiah's like don't you ever talk about your dad like that again he had like <laughs> been on the bottom bunk listening to me the whole time oh you feel oh, so dude. terrible like but like yeah that's true like there's nothing more scary than the sort of when you're waiting because you know you're in trouble like um yeah so what i was saying is like I came home from school one day in Ecuador and this is before my mum had joined us because me and my, my dad moved out there and my mum was just packing things up at the old house and that's all this right. stuff. So she joined later. So initially it was just me and dad. Um, and um, gosh, I just remember that. Like, what did we even eat <laughs> like, without mum there? <laughs> Jeez. Without your mum there? <laughs> what did you eat, dude? Dude, I remember using using the fuck out of a, a rice machine, like a rice maker. We oh. rinsed it, or we just ate out a lot. I think. Yeah, um, like any food stuff, and like. Uh, yeah, food court in um food court yeah. in the. the, the mall. Like That's key centro. Yeah, exactly. Um, and so yeah, I come home from from school one day, and I think I wanted to head out and meet up. I, I feel like I was trying to link up with you boys. Um, for whatever reason, you were that's right, you were trying to get with us, and I don't think you could go, or maybe you weren't couldn't get a hold of him or so. What was it? I was just, I was texting him, I was just waiting for him to reply because like, he was at work. Cause it's okay. like, all right, but so. he was like, I was like, I want to go, I want to go out, and he's like, oh, um, not tonight, you've got work to do or something. I'm just like, no, I've done it. Um, I don't think that had, what was yeah. it? but it's like, <laughs> like, 
oh, I want to go out and just like I'm just texting him back and forth but then in between I'll be texting you um, or whoever being like oh yeah I'm trying to just give me a minute I'm trying to get I'm going to get ready but hopefully my dad's like yeah or whatever blah blah I'm yeah. just going to get permission and he texts me saying no it's like just leave it like you're not you're not going out I, you know just yeah. stay in yeah. and then I text saying that I was going to text you and it's just like um, <laughs> Yeah, my fucking dad was sitting a fucking ass on these fucking, fucking, fuck. Like, just again, just like like what you said, just <laughs> yeah, that bile know. just spewing out, just like really <laughs> hot lava coming out. And then the next text I get back, it says from dad. I'm like, that's weird. Um, and then it just said, uh, we're going to talk when, when I get oh. home. And just the sweat and fear just like you start hearing your your heartbeat in your ears you know you it know. might i could eat it i could eat it brother it was ah uh, it was so horrible <laughs> oh no that was a oh no that was so horrendous like in fact worse than what he actually said in the end which i can't remember because i've clearly blocked it out um, <laughs> yeah um but worse than that was just waiting it was just like I know I'm, the anticipation I, of it. I've, yeah. I've really, really, really messed up here, and it's like there's nothing I can do but just take this L. You're like, oh no, he's seen this side of me now, so he the, he knows that this part of me exists, and that's he knows that I've, I've spoken about him like that. Oh god, yeah. that was, that's a fucking horrible feeling. Yeah, yeah that's. Cool. It's weird with dads, man. With boys, men with their with their fathers, there's just always like. A, this thing like me you know, me and him have unfortunately gone into like physical altercation before and yeah my mum there and it's just like it's so horrible but there's just something i don't know about having to prove yourself or just coming yeah. up against yeah like man, it's a man and a man trying to be yeah. a man you know and like yeah a boy and a man like, you're not a man yet yeah so it's like, <laughs> but what are you gonna do with people like us? You just have to yeah, exactly. Them. We're there like, yeah, I'm 17 and I know what I'm talking about. You don't know shit. <laughs> just like, what? <laughs> no, well, it's funny you said uh, that you brought up that your mom wasn't there for whenever you first got there, because that's how when I, I didn't tell you that when I moved to Ecuador, I moved there and just stayed with my grandma and grandpa and my aunt Jessica. Right. A whole year. My parents didn't move there to literally till it was like the start of my senior year. What? So I, I th yeah, they showed up my senior year of high school, and I was there for one year with them, and then I f came back to America, and they all stayed there. That's so, mad, dude. Yeah, it was so, like I, so about yeah. half of high school around my actual parents, I think, because I was there my freshman year with them, and then not really. I mean, and I even got in some trouble in school in in the states before I went to Ecuador, and I was like having to go to an alternative school. For smoking oh really pot. yeah i got in trouble for smoking a joint or for smoking pot with these two kids at a football mm -hmm. game and uh i got like pretty much ridiculed in front of that's a whole nother podcast episode yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that whole story i'll have to tell you about that because what how crazy that the times have changed now it's so much it's so different but yeah uh, I'll, I'll i'll end with the um my my story about it you know that we talked about last time so you mm -hmm. have to remember this it was the varsity it was the, we were in the varsity <laughs> in the yeah yeah the basketball game i was grounded like i was always you know yeah and so i was always having to sit by my parents in the at like yeah. at like sporting events and stuff it's like so the, dry. in the high school section with all my friends I had to like sit with my parents because they were like it was like my punishment. So I was, like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> and this particular instance, <laughs> I was, uh, I think I was in eighth grade, or seventh grade. So I was wasn't in high school yet. I was mm -hmm. fourteen or something like that. And um, I was I had taken advanced algebra and I had gotten a horrible grade <laughs> in advanced algebra. <laughs> And uh, it was like a, a 79 or something like that. So it was like a C technically, but I was in deep, I was in deep duty. So yeah, deep duty. My, my mom was like, she was so mad at me and that we were sitting, I, I had my friend Jarek with me uh, and I think this guy, Jacob Jones, maybe they were sitting with me. I don't remember who I was hanging out with at that time, but they were sitting in the bleachers and there were girls with us too that were like sitting there hanging out. And my mom's like, we start arguing about why I can't go over to the, the high school section. Hey, 
Get out of here. Get out of here. And I and my mom goes. Hold on, hold on. I'm running out of time here. I can see my podcasting winding down. But uh. But, okay, hold on. Uh, so I'm I'm arguing with my mom in the bleachers, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, she's she just blurts out like as loud as she could. I don't know why. And she just blurts out, well, well, if you quit jacking off in class. <laughs> And I just turned beet red, dude. I just turned like red as a beet. And my friends were looking, they were like looking at kind of side and trying to choke on their laughter, you know, like trying oh, to laugh. And it like a good minute, like the longest minute of my life went by, like a good minute. And then I was like, I know what I said. I meant to say oh, hacking God. around or slacking off and it came out. <laughs> and and all of us just started laughing dude and i've never lived that like the, everybody made fun of me for that i never lived that down i was like oh that's, mom that's so terrible i just think um i just imagine you know when in like in tv shows people say like you say like in class 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 it cuts like the birds flying away and like <laughs> yeah it's like a good <laughs> echo super loud oh they yeah, well, those it, are, it was in a freaking varsity gym in a basketball gym. I'm like, yeah, yeah so everybody it heard it. Yeah, then some sweet acoustics. Mm-hmm. Um, wow. Well, yeah, those are some pretty horrible stories. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We'll have to talk about. I need you to help me brush up my Irish accents and uh, British. Yeah, accent. I'll, 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 I'll get some. I'll, maybe I'll take you through some some slang. You can, we can we can do a slang off. All right. Um, I'll like come with like ten phrases. You come with like ten phrases. Be like, what do you think this means? And I'll tell you what actually. Yeah. Means. Something like that. I'll see if I can yeah. help you on some good ones, dude. Yeah, let's do it. Some good like, some down yonder. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> oh, let's do it. Nice one, buff. And then we can do like a, you know, some Ecuadorian stuff like a la orden. A la orden. A la orden. Escucha la cinta. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, dude. Well, cool. Yeah, bless. Hopefully awesome, man. We, this uh, worked out. Hopefully, we can actually capture this successfully. So we'll see. Yeah, hopefully. I think oh, it does. No. I didn't what? record, bro. Shut no, it says, re- it says recording. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> hey, Nikki. Hot Cheetos. What are you eating? What are you eating? Hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos. What? You heat those things up? <laughs> yeah, she's cool, man. I put um, queso on top of it. Wow. So you like the like gourmet yeah, version. Mental, dude. I, I don't agree with this. This is so bad for her. That is crazy that and is. amazing. No, she, t- she, she, used, she used to do this in um cafeteria in her school would serve that to the kids, like small, dude. You would get like a small bag of hot Cheetos and then you would go over just the nacho <laughs> cheese and they would just jump like, in the jump. cheese. Yeah, and then I, I was like, so what? It gets like kind of squishy. Oh, it's so good. When I was like pregnant, America, bro. He America. would not let me eat it and I would like crave it oh wow yeah, she'd be oh, pregnant and she would crave bowls of this stuff dude. that's such a mad thing like that you that and your body broccoli. goes straight for, for for hot cheetos that's your craving well, <laughs> well it was broccoli. broccoli broccoli was steamed her main broccoli. one she just wanted wow. steamed broccoli all day like bowls of it i'd be i go to restaurants and be like can i get a bowl of broccoli and they'd come with like a side i was like no like a bowl yeah <laughs> like a salad bowl <laughs> but give you like a shot of broccoli Rockley G. Well, it was good to talk to you. Yeah, man. Big love to you guys. Love you very much. Yeah, man. You too. We love you. I love you, love you, love you. Bye, bye. Enjoy your cheat clothes. Yeah, dude. All right. We'll uh, we'll talk soon. Yeah. All right. Peace. Peace.